So gravlax is a Scandinavian dish that is cured fish. It is primarily done with salmon, but you can use any number of fish, such as Arctic char, and it's cured with spices and salt and sugar, and it's left to hang out for a few days. Gravlax is normally something that you would buy at the supermarket or buy at the deli, but I like to make mine at home. I find it to be so easy, so affordable, and so much more delicious than any of the Gravlax you're gonna find at the supermarket. I usually start with about a two to three pound piece of salmon. You could get a whole side of salmon if you want, if you're gonna be serving of people and make sure that when you get your salmon that you ask the fishmonger to descale it and to debone it for you so it's all pretty much ready to go the minute you get home. So once I have my beautiful side of salmon laid out, I like to make my spice mixture. And that's nothing more than a little bit of salt and a few different types of sugar and all different like seeds and spices and also fresh herbs. You want to pack that all around the salmon. You want to pack the top of the salmon, the bottom of the salmon. I mean, you're really going to be liberal with the amount of like salt and spices that you're putting on this piece of fish. And what that's going to do is that's going to cure the salmon. It's going to basically take all of the liquid that is in the salmon and it's going to pull it out. It also makes the flesh of the salmon a little bit more firm than it would normally be so that it'll be, you'll be able to slice it really paper thin to serve to your guests. You wanna wrap it up tightly with plastic wrap. Make sure you give it a few layers of plastic wrap so that it's very well sealed. And you're gonna put that in a baking dish and you're gonna put it in the refrigerator and you're going to weigh it down with another pan on top of it. So your salmon has been sitting in the refrigerator for a minimum of two days. You can leave it for a little bit longer if you would like. You're gonna take it out of the refrigerator, you're gonna unwrap it and you're gonna rinse it under cold water to get all of those spices and salt and everything that's broken down from sitting there for the past few days, you're going to rinse that off and you're gonna dry the salmon and you're gonna be ready to assemble a beautiful platter. I like to serve my gravlax sliced very thin on a platter and I like to garnish it with capers and cornichon and a little bit of sliced onion, some more fresh dill. You know, I also usually serve this with a bagel and cream cheese. Traditionally in Scandinavia, you'll find it served with a mustard sauce and that is, you know, that's a perfectly acceptable way to serve it as well. But you know, I'm an ex-New Yorker, so I always like any excuse to eat a bagel. So I'm telling you, do yourself a favor, make your gravlax from scratch. I know it sounds scary, I know it's crazy, you're looking at a giant piece of fish, you don't think that it could be as easy as it is, but it really, really, really is simple.